All right, we'll go ahead and call the Board of Public Works meeting October the 6th, 2020 to order. Reading and approval of minutes of the last meeting. Make a motion that we accept the minutes as presented. Second. Motion been made and seconded. Signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Payment of claims. $231,000 to that start over $231,834 and 80 cents make a motion we accept the claims as presented second motion has been made to accept as presented and seconded all in favor signify saying aye aye opposed ayes have it regular payroll one hundred and eighty six thousand one hundred and fifty three dollars make a motion we accept the payroll as presented second motion been made and seconded to accept payroll as presented all those in favor signify saying aye 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 opposed ayes have it monthly payroll five thousand one hundred and eighty dollars and sixty six cents Make a motion to accept the payroll as presented. Second. Motion's been made and seconded to accept the monthly payroll as presented. All those in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Pension payroll. Eighty-seven thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars and two cents. Make a motion that we accept the pension payroll as presented. Second. Motion been made and seconded to accept pension payroll as presented. All those in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Mm -hmm. Old business. Mayor, real quick. There yes. needs to be a motion to amend the agenda to reflect the payment of claims, the additional $125 claim that was added to that late. Um, okay. The amount on the agenda does not reflect that. So. Okay. I'll make a motion to amend the agenda. Second. Motion been made and seconded to amend the agenda to include the $125 payment. And Mayor, that that amount would be two thousand or $231,834.80. Correct. Right. Yeah. Motion been made and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? Ayes have it. Moving on. Old business, seeing none. New business. Nancy Hager is asking for a speed limit sign on Mosley Road near the entrance of Parkview Heights. What states here is uh, speed limit sign on Mosley Road near the entrance to Parkview Heights. Doesn't list uh, no document attached or anything. She's here. Doing Would you like to step up to the microphone and talk to us? Not really. <laughs> No, we live uh, on Mosley Road, just the one house past uh, Cherry Lane. But there don't appear to be a, a speed signs anywhere, and the vehicles travel down that road. And I would think at least from 19 to Cherry Lane, which I guess is all city property, would be a lower speed limit. But if they're coming 150 towards 19, it doesn't seem like anybody ever slows down, even those big tanker trucks that carry whatever. And there's a lot of people that run on that road, walk their dogs on that road, go out there with their children. And, and now we had an example about a month or so ago. A gentleman lived down on 150, but he came out of his driveway at a rather high speed and lost control. And he swerved around. 
came over, ran across our yard, took out a plant, bent the flagpole, and took down, almost hit the tree, and took down the one sign for entrance for Parkview Terrace. And it just really bothers me. Maybe nothing's happened yet, but I mean, the way people come down there, it's an accident waiting to happen. And from 19 to Cherry Lane, there are families I've noticed that had that do have children. And I just think that somehow some sign should be put up there that, hey, you need to slow down. This is going into a residential property. And I've only lived there about a year and a half, but it just bugs me tremendously when I see how the vehicles are speeding. And I've asked several people who I talked to, and finally somebody said, call the mayor's office. So that's what my concern is. It's just the speed that those people travel. And it's like it's all should be county from 19 all the way down. And that's the thing I wanted to talk about was just because of that. And I heard you talking a little bit about it earlier. Mm, okay. And well, I would uh, like to put a speed to strip out there, but I know I can't do it. So just in case I see a patrolman back there, if one's put out, it's not me. Yeah. <laughs> other other than splitting a road, it's it's kind of like on Strawtown Pike. Uh, the road is the city, but if you live on the west side of it, you're in the county, and you're in the same situation on Mosley Road. A little just reverse because the road itself is a county and you live within the city. Am I correct on this? Uh, this is our police chief and then our. Uh, yeah, the county, uh, I talked to them today. The problem is that all county roads are 55 miles an hour. So that means they're going 55 when they go past your house and head towards 19. Some of them seem to be maybe going. Well, I'm sure they are. Well, shouldn't they go slow, start slowing down there where, no, they, turn, where Cherry Lane is, since that yeah, supposedly yeah. is residential? Yeah. And when they're going 55 miles an hour, I mean, you know, it's going to take them a little bit to slow down their vehicles. I would think that there should be something saying, you know, slow down residential area ahead or something. The, uh, that would be the county's you would have to write a letter. That's what they told me today when I called County Highway. So when I come to the meeting, the best thing to do would be address it with the county commissioners, address a letter to them, tell them what's happening. Because there are a lot of homes along there. 55 mile an hour is pretty fast coming down through there to 19. And they would have to start bringing it down before your house. Right. Because if we were to change that, you know, it'd be a panic stop thing. If we changed that to 35 or something, we would have to put reduced speed ahead signs back to 300 feet from that sign. And boy, that'd be tough. If 55 mile an hour now, oh, I gotta go 35 mm -hmm. feet. And then we'd... So I think the best approach would be to get a hold of them, send them a letter, situation, and suggest maybe, I would say start stepping down, but you know, 45, get it down there. And, yeah. and then they, there's there are signs that say residential area. And I mean, you know, there's lots of things. Well, I mean, just like the the gentleman that ran a, ran to our yard. I mean, he took responsibility right. for it and did replace everything. But there's one lady that walks or runs religiously. And what if she'd been out there on that road when he went like that? It could have ended up being a casualty. Yeah, the, and, I'd say that that's. What we usually do in this situation, since we're going to have to send it over to the county, though, but we can go out there and put our do a study. We've got a radar counter. We can set that up and get a week's worth of speeds and vehicle counts, and then I can give that to Bill out at the county. Bill Nealis, and they've lost their county engineer. He retired, so Bill and the superintendent out there would have to handle it. Commissioners, but. I can give them information, and then then you'd have ammunition to say, "Hey, look how fast they're going." Well, even if they set up something like that, at least you can maybe you know see, right? Especially those big tanker trucks, because they go down the road, deliver it to wherever, and they come back, and they're going just as fast. And I I don't know, but I would think it would take longer for them to stop. Right. 
than it would maybe a car. One, right? of, the, so one of the other problems, if we go up and put a sign up, it can't be enforced because by it being a county road, it has to be adopted and accounted by the county and that way then our officers can enforce if the county deems it necessary to put a 35 mile an hour speed limit sign up there then our officers can if they're coming out of Parkview or anything and they clock somebody at 50 or 60 mile an hour they can give them a ticket the way it is right now all county roads are 55 mile an hour and I'm not saying it's right but if we put a sign up, we can enforce a 35 mile an hour. If the county passes it, puts it up, then it becomes a law to where our police department then can enforce the speed limit. Well, I know it's kind of a problem because when we moved in, our address is Cherry, but our house faces 150. Right, you're right there on the corner. Yeah, and we wanted the mailbox changed in front of our house, and it didn't get done. Our address is now Mosley, but our mailbox is still on Cherry. And it, it, so it was a thing, we're in Parkview Heights, which I assume is all city, but we faced a, count, a, count, a county road. So, I mean, we went through a lot of hassle on that. Right. And... Well, if I have to go through the commission or if well, what one he, of those things could be set up or... Well, what he will do is get his sign set up and then you'll get a printout that she can have, correct? And it will show during such and such dates this many cars pass through. This was the speed of X amount of cars. This was the speed of X amount of cars and it'll give you something to take with you to the county commissioner okay. saying look we've already here's here's our printout the city's already come up and done a study on it for us and this is what they found out and we need well, to set it get it set down to where the speed limit can be cut back down well it's a start and it is and i know it seems like you're getting a runaround but that's it's not the no. case because it's the only legal we way we can do it. house that just straddles so, city and county. Mr. Mayor. <coughs> so, Mayor. Yes. Good question. For the police chief. Dan, I don't recall what it's the actual statute is, but if it's not posted, isn't it 55 and 30? Are there two predominant speeds? Um, county roads are 55, city are 30. I thought it went. I thought it talked about residential or non-residential. I don't think it specified county or city. So I'm wondering, did the county pass some sort of ordinance making it? The county can lower it to 45. But they can't raise it. Right. So if that's considered residential right there. They can do like they did on Mexico Road where they dropped it. Right, but if that's considered residential right there where Parkview Heights is on Mosley, would I don't think a state statute covers that because it's residential in town yeah. as uh, can, I don't know if county wrote well See, that's they, can, they can lower it to 35 in like a subdivision and stuff. but that might be a little more ammunition for you when you go talk to them yeah. that that's considered a residential area you said there's signs there it already says residential area no, no I mean they can there are, there are signs that can be made to okay say that. So if it if it would yeah. be considered a residential area, then they could drop it down to 30. Yeah, because if there's a sign there, I just haven't seen it or noticed okay. it. Uh, there's, there's no, I'm there's it out there. Yeah, I didn't think that there yeah, I was. Past your house and yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think there was. But hey, if something didn't get started, I would appreciate it because uh, maybe they're not. Maybe they're all going 55, but I'll tell you, it seems like they're going faster than that to me. <laughs> but I understand. So. I appreciate it. Do we need a motion to have him put the sign up or Do we need to do a motion to have him put the sign up or good. Yeah, we need to make a motion that uh, these, this, he sets up his speed zones and it be transferred over to the county. Okay. So 
I'll make a motion that we have the street department put their sign up there, their speed sign, and, and transfer that over the information over to the county. Second. Motion's been made, seconded. Signify all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Sandy Chittam, is she here tonight? No, I don't see her. So. Uh, Sandy Chittam is asking for escorts at the beginning and end of downtown Peru Christmas open house on November 18th and to have Broadway closed off both sides until the parade is over. Also asking permission to close off East 5th Street from Broadway to Wabash Street. Uh, what she normally does on that they normally start at the depot and let me just read to you what she has put in here. Dear Mayor Hewitt, on November 18th, the downtown Christmas open house presented by First Merchants in coordination with Miami County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau will be involving our downtown merchants promoting our downtown through Christmas cheer. The shops will be participating with the clue page, music, and specials in their establishments. Windows will be decorated, Christmas lights will be lit, and the community will be participating in a wonderful event. We will also be having our taste of the town at Miami County Artesian Gallery from 5 to 8 p.m. There will be eight eating establishment providing samples. The fee will be $10 to get in and also a chance for a $100 gift certificate. The parade sponsored by Blair Ridge will start at the depot at 6 p.m. and head up Broadway and then turn left onto 7th Street at the Circus Building. Santa will then head onto the Santa House on his Polar Express train to visit with the children after the official tree lighting from 6.30 to 8. The shops will open for re requirement. This starts at 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. I am requesting your help with the parade and providing an escort at the beginning and at the end of the parade and to have Broadway closed both sides of the street until the parade is over. We have families lined up on both sides of the street and we cannot have any cars in any direction until the end of the parade. Safety is our concern for the families enjoying our hometown Christmas parade. We're also asking for permission to close off 5th Street from Broadway to Wabash Street so that we can have our local high school jazz man play during the event. This will help with the social distancing with the crowd being able to spread out to listen to the band. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Sandy Chittam at Chamber of Commerce and list her phone number and cell phone. This confirmation for the mayor to be in the parade riding on the fire truck. So basically what they're asking for is like they've done every year. They close Broadway down from Canal Street to 7th Street during the parade. Once they turn on to 7th Street with the parade, get Santa into his house, then Broadway can open back up the way I understand it. That's, isn't that what they did last year? Yeah. And uh, I know it's what they've done in years past. So do you, either one of you see any problem with that? I mean, you're going to have your fire truck with me on it coming down through there. And then after you turn on 7th Street, we can open it back up. Yeah, we usually head up. And we have a couple other vehicles in it also that we... We should probably 
Well, I don't know if we if they've done it before or not, but maybe from uh, Main Street to Seventh Street, just keep that blocked off until eight o'clock at night, where people are roaming back and forth, or has that been a problem? The only last year, I think Paul Foreman had something to do with this last year, didn't he? Because I believe pulled, he did. We pulled a float for them also with one of our other trucks, and they're side by side pulled another float for them also. But the only problem we had was getting back around and dropping off uh, that float, because that float had music or something on it, I can't remember. But the traffic had opened back up again right there, and that was the only problem we had was getting back around and drop off. I think maybe Sam was on one of our floats last year, I can't remember. It wasn't a big deal, but it did cause a little bit of a problem getting back around in that area. Dan, you guys got enough with the shortage. You got to have enough guys to block all those intersections, or do we need to reach out to EMA? We've helped in the past. Okay. I'll make a motion that we grant the request by Sandy Chittum as presented. Second. Motion been made to grant the request as presented and seconded. All in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Next order of business, Brenda Douglas. On behalf of the building department wants to review bids received for the blight elimination program. These are our last five houses. I don't think they wanted me to get into this one. <laughs> This is from Bun Inc. Who is it? Bun, B U N N, Inc. out of Fort Wayne. The first house is 57 West Riverside, $25,000. Sixty East Ninth, $35,000. 185 North Fremont. $30,000. 302 Harrison, $35,000. And 710 South Broadway, $140, or $20,000 for a total of $145. One tw $120,000, the last one? The last one was twenty. Just twenty. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And the total is $145,000. Was your total? One hundred and forty-five thousand. Okay. The last packet is from Merritts. Is that Merritt and Son still? It is. Right. Merritt and Son excavating now. Bunker Hill, I think. Bunker Hill. Oh. Um. Where is it? It's Peru. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I've just got to find his Form 3.
was afraid it wasn't in there. <laughs> okay, 57 West Riverside, $13,900. 60 East 9th, $10,000. 185 North Fremont, $13,000. 302 Harrison, $10,000. 710 South Broadway, $7,500. For a total of $54,400. I know we have to review this bid packet to make sure that it meets all of the specifications, but I'd like to ask the board to consider merits All right so mayor what the, what the board will need to do is to accept both bids as presented um, in award to merits contingent upon compliance with um, the blight elimination program and the bid specs. I make a motion that we do accept Merritt's bid um, and they'll have to be held accountable to all the blind specifications. Well, we'll, we'll have to accept both bids. We'll accept right, both you'll bids have to accept both bids as is. Okay. And I'll make that motion then we accept both bids as presented. Is that motion been made and seconded to accept both bids as presented? All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Now can we have a motion that should everything fall within order, we accept Merritt's bid? So you can do one of two things. You can make a motion to take these under advisement and award at a later date, or you can um, award to Merritt's contingent upon um, su successful compliance with, with the bid uh, requirements. If we did it at a later date, does that have to be done at another meeting, or can we do it like tomorrow if we wanted to? It'd be best if it was done at the next Board of Works meeting. Um, but I it, understand we're under some time constraints on that. It has right. been it has been done in the past though where the board could vote to give the authority of the building commissioner or the mayor to make that recommendation. Merritt's has been the successful contractor, um, the bidder on all of our packages. Right. Um, We've not had any issues um, with their performance or the fact that they were able to meet the criteria set out in the bid specifications. But if you were to approve them, um, contingent upon them meeting those specifications, I'd feel comfortable with that, just given their past performance. Anything from the board? No. I'm Anything, any comment from the audience? I ask that you entertain a motion to, if everything comes out the way it should be, that merit be the one to uh, receive the bid. I'll make that motion. I second. Motion's been made that should merit meet all qualifications, they be given the bidding on all five properties for the teardown due to the blight elimination. That mayor just at the next meeting, um, I guess for the record, just add to um, old business that they were in fact compliant or non are not in compliance. So moved. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Ayes have it. Next on the agenda, Angela Myers on behalf of ARC requests to block off Wampler from Franklin to the alley for a bike-a-thon 
They will know the dates when attending the Board of Works meeting tonight. Uh, if you would, your Angela, yes, yes, come on up to the mic because we have some clarification on the streets also. It's worn. It's worn instead yeah. of... Yeah. Okay. I, just, I couldn't remember what street that was. <clears throat> so okay, sure. so... <clears throat> can I have a motion to correct the location from previous red to read from Wampler to Warren? I'll make the motion we accept that change. Second. All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Okay, now, what date are you wanting this? October 24th. When? October 24th. What so time? for like an hour from 2 to 3. And you say it's going to be a bike rodeo? It's either going to be a bike or they're going to walk. I mean, we're talking three-year-olds to six or kindergarten, so... So is this uh, kind well, of a fundraiser yeah. for the church in, yeah. or it's for this children's ministry that we have? Okay. Now, are you going to be having any contest or anything for them before you? I kind of hate to lock you in from 2 to 3. Mm -hmm. would, um, it, would it be better from 1 to 3.30 or 4? Or is an hour going to be a pl enough for it, you? It should be. because We get out of church about 1.30, and then we'll do it right after church. So maybe we should do 1. If they get out at 1.30, they'll be setting up and stuff. So maybe yeah. at 1 o'clock, do yeah. we need to adjust that again? Or? Um, Fire Chief, Police Chief, do you see any problem with that? Wampler's not covering, traveled on that much, so. How about uh, 1.30 to 3.30? Oh. That'll give you plenty of time. If you're out of there early, that's fine, too. Okay. It's, but that'll give you a little bit of... Some I know what it is working with kids. It's yeah. sometimes things happen and it, so. Right. How are you going to block it off? Are you going to need to get barricades from the if, if we can. street department? Yeah. Okay. And that's that's from Warren to the alley, right by four scoops, so they can get out of scoops. <laughs> Yeah. I make a motion that we accept the request and, and grant the permission to block the alley and specify the date October 24th between 1.30 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. Second. Motion been made and seconded. All in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Any communications or anything from the board seeing none the city attorney have anything I have nothing anything from the audience seeing none I want to thank everyone for coming tonight and being here I'm sorry we didn't have the answer that you were looking for but we're working with you to get you in the right direction so, we're up for adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor, say and five, saying aye. Aye. Those guys have it.